Uh, good all, welcome back to South Africa and this is South African Prepper. So uh, I want to talk to you about grit down. So all across the world there is a energy crisis. Now um, you can have your opinions about the energy crisis, um, especially in Europe, why it is happening. Um, but I can tell you this is that the energy crisis in the world currently, and it's sad because I don't think there is a country in the world currently that is not experiencing some kind of an energy crisis. Um, high fuel prices, high gas prices. Um, in South Africa, we've had blackouts for the last 15 years. So blackouts, rolling blackouts, meaning that your power gets cut anything from two hours to eight hours every single day. Now, this is in effect man-made. It's a man-made, government-made issue and problem. And as a prepper, at this stage of the fight, everybody needs to prepare for a grid collapse or a grid down. And I don't care where you are in the world. If you're in a first world country, you have to especially prepare for a grid down because we are so used to switching on the lights and plugging in the plugs for electricity. I mean, <clears throat> we farm, we've got those center pivots, um, 40 hectares at a time. It takes eight hours of electricity running that pivot to water or irrigate 40 hectares. Now, if I have two hours of electricity break, you know, I have to sit and wait for the power to go back on. So we are so, so reliant on electricity. And in South Africa, we're quite fortunate because our winters don't really get so cold. We've got parts in, in South Africa, the central parts, where it maybe gets to minus 7 degrees Celsius. So not too bad. And we don't really have snow in South Africa. So in that regard, we are fairly lucky. But when the power goes off, it has a significant effect on your family and your family's survival and the people living in your area. Because as soon as the power goes off permanently... And this is becoming a reality across the world where power grids will go off for weeks at a time. And not because of a natural disaster, because of maybe high winds or rains or floods, but because of a man government made issue within the energy industries in this world because I want to go green and it, <laughs> green doesn't work okay <laughs> solar panels wind turbines are fundamentally flawed because of one thing batteries but anyway I don't want to go into the different sorts of powers and it's very ironic because as I'm making this video I could get on my phone um, and if I had the money, I could probably order a truckload full of coal. And they can come and dump it on the, on the farm, you know, uh, in a couple of days. <laughs> South Africa does not have a lack of coal. Yet, we have a lack of power. Lack of electricity. And this is what scares me because when the grid goes down, it, a whole lot of things are going to start to happen. Okay, and one of the big things is your ability to freeze food and keep food fresh. Now, in South Africa, a lot of the big stores do have generators. And if they're lucky, they could keep the generators on for a day or two. Okay, and then they will probably run out of diesel <laughs> and petrol for those generators. So, when the grid actually collapses, food will become a problem. Okay, fresh food, meats, vegetables, it'll become a problem. You won't be able to go to the ATM because there won't be any power, electricity for the ATM to run. You won't be able to swipe your card because the towers, 
the, the, the cell phone towers will be off because the cell phone towers in South Africa, when the power goes out, or when we have blackouts, most of them can only last two to four hours because they've only got so much battery capacity. Okay, so that's the other thing is you won't be able to communicate. And that is going to make a lot of people upset, not being able to buy food, not being able to buy petrol and diesel, and not being able to get your money out of the bank. So a grid down scenario is something that preppers need to prep for. Okay, you need to be able to cook without electricity. You need to have extra cash hidden away somewhere. So you can buy some things once the power goes off permanently. That is part of being a prepper and being prepared. And in, if you're in Europe at this stage, <laughs> you need to make sure that you prepare for nuclear war as well. And that's no joke. This is South African Prepper. Please like, share and subscribe.